The 2000 Maryland 1788 quarter dollar coin is a fascinating piece of numismatic history. It is part of the United States Mint's 50 State Quarters program, which was launched to celebrate the unique heritage and history of each state in the Union. This particular coin, released in 2000, honors the state of Maryland, known as the Old Line State, and offers various interesting aspects and facts worth exploring. Maryland, one of the original 13 colonies, holds a rich historical significance. It was the seventh state to ratify the U.S. Constitution in 1788. The Maryland Quarter was released as the seventh coin in the 50 State Quarters program, a fitting tribute to its place in American history. The State House featured on the coin is not just an architectural marvel, but also a symbol of Maryland's pivotal role in American governance. It was in this building that the Continental Congress met from 1783 to 1784, and where the Treaty of Paris was ratified, officially ending the Revolutionary War. The obverse side of the Maryland Quarter, like all quarters in the 50 State Quarters program, retains the traditional portrait of George Washington, the first president of the United States. Here are the specific elements. The central feature of the obverse is the left-facing profile of George Washington, designed by John Flanagan. This iconic image has been used on the quarter since 1932, commemorating the bicentennial of Washington's birth. United States of America. This inscription arcs across the top of the coin, emphasizing the coin's origin. Liberty, positioned to the left of Washington's portrait, symbolizing one of the core values of the nation. In God We Trust, this phrase is a standard feature on U.S. coinage, reflecting the country's religious heritage. The mint mark, indicating where the coin was produced, is found to the right of Washington's portrait. The letters can be P for Philadelphia, D for Denver, or S for San Francisco, for proof coins and quarter dollar. The reverse side of the Maryland Quarter is specifically designed to highlight Maryland's unique heritage. Maryland State House. The central image on the reverse side is the Maryland State House, located in Annapolis. This historic building is the oldest state capital still in legislative use and is notable for its large wooden dome constructed without nails. The State House symbolizes Maryland's rich political history and its role in early American governance. Maryland. This appears at the top of the coin, clearly identifying the state being honored. Positioned just below Maryland, this date signifies the year Maryland ratified the U.S. Constitution, becoming the seventh state in the Union. The Old Line State. Found at the bottom of the coin, this phrase is Maryland's official nickname. It honors the state's Revolutionary War history and the bravery of the Maryland Line troops who played a critical role in the war. Year 2000, indicating the year of issue. E pluribus unum. This Latin phrase, meaning out of many, one, it underscores the unity of the different states forming one nation. January 1999 marks the beginning of one of the most historic and unparalleled events in U.S. coinage and numismatics. The U.S. Mint began releasing the first of the U.S. commemorative quarters that honored each of the 50 states as well as later included, District of Columbia and U.S. territories. The quarter was selected for this magnificent series, as it was the most circulating coin in change, as well as provided enough space for varied coin designs.
the 2000 Maryland 1788 quarter dollar coin is more than just a piece of currency. It is a miniature monument to the state's rich history and heritage. From its intricate design featuring the historic state house to the historical references embedded within, this coin captures the essence of Maryland's contribution to the American story. Whether you're a numismatist or a history enthusiast, the Maryland Quarter is a fascinating artifact that offers a tangible connection to the past. For numismatists, the Maryland Quarter offers both historical value and aesthetic appeal. While the coin is relatively common in circulation, proof versions and uncirculated coins can be valuable additions to a collection. Collectors often seek out quarters with specific mint marks or those in pristine condition to complete their state quarter sets. The Maryland State Quarter design is the sixth design issued in the 50 State Quarters program. It is also the second design issued in the year 2000. The Maryland Circulation Strike Quarters were officially released on March 13, 2000. The coin's reverse would be selected by the individual states with a basic set framework given by the U.S. Treasury. They would celebrate the artistic designs most emblematic of each state. They would be issued five states per year, approximately every 10 weeks. The coins were produced in the same order that each state entered the Union, and the 13 colonies in the order of ratification of the Constitution. This unique series would become one of the most popular sets in numismatic history, and ignite a groundswell of a new collecting generation. The Maryland State House dates back to 1772 and is the country's largest wooden dome built without using nails. The Treaty of Paris which ended the Revolutionary War was ratified in the structure. It also served as the nation's first peacetime capital. On the quarter, the dome is surrounded by white oak leaf clusters. The final design was selected by the governor after initial review and approval by the Treasury Secretary, Citizens Commemorative Coin Advisory Committee, Fine Arts Commission, and the Maryland Commemorative Coin Committee. The last mentioned committee was formed for the explicit purpose of evaluating the state's proposed quarter designs. <laughs> 